be a world away from the urban sprawl of our inner cities, but Cotswolds-based pest controller Dave still has plenty of adversaries to keep him busy. This morning, he's starting his day with a call out to an infestation of cluster flies in a local house. In rural areas, you get uh, problems with flies coming in in the, uh, in the autumn to overwinter. If they're not treated, they just stay up there until the spring. When the days get a little bit longer, they start becoming active and they keep coming into the, uh, into the room. So we're going to annihilate them. The first thing for Dave to do is to have a quick peek in the loft to see the extent of the problem. OK, let's have a look. Oh, plenty of flies. Don't look too bad at the moment, but once we uh, switch the machine on, there's going to be considerably more action than this. I'll probably get in trouble for it because there'll be dead flies all over the floor, but uh, needs must. So Dave fetches the aerosol generator containing an insecticidal mist which attacks the fly's nervous system. This will kill 99.9% .9 of them. I mean, there might be some tucked away up in the felt or something, but it is very, very penetrating stuff. She'll be happy after we've done this, apart from the vacuum, you know. After switching the generator on, it only takes about 30 seconds for the machine to emit enough mist to do the job. It doesn't take long. They're very powerful machines. I don't know if you can see the insecticide puffing about in there. Here we go. Here come the first customers. Within about a minute or so, the insecticide is beginning to take its toll. And Dave also seems pretty happy with the results in the loft. Oh, it's got moving. You can see how much more activity there is now compared to uh, when you first went up there. Cluster flies don't seek to lay their eggs on household food like blue bottles, but instead their larvae are parasites of the common earthworm. Either way, it looks like this lot won't be bothering anyone else again. The fat lady has sung. 